everyone welcome back it is stephanie from the crazy canvas and today we are doing a piece inspired by a wonderful artist named tara at pieces of tara artistry if you guys don't follow her you should i will put a link to her channel in the description below um but if you guys have been following me you know that i have been struggling with pearl pours um, she has a recipe on her page for pearl pours, and I followed it to a T today. Um, I made a couple mistakes. Um, one of the colors that I wanted to make a base coat, I accidentally made a pour color, and I made the other blue that I wanted the pour color to be the base coat. But either way, the paints are mixed the way that she says to mix them on her site. I used all the ingredients she says to use, and I'm really, really hoping for some amazing results today. What I'm also thinking of doing, the biggest thing is getting pearls to show up. That's the biggest thing I want. The second thing is I am horrible at Dutch pours, horrible. Um, I tried them when I first started and I failed a couple times and I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, so I'm thinking I'm doing both things today because that's what she does as well. Um, so what I'm hoping to do is put down, so I already prepped the canvas with Artist Loft White. Um, Tara says that when the paints are so thin, this helps the paints to stick to the canvas. So we're gonna put down the base coat and then I'm gonna cover it all with white paint. And then I'm gonna wait, we're gonna do a time lapse and wait about 10 minutes to see where we get pearls, um, where they pop up at. And then I might do a Dutch pour. So a Dutch pour is when you take thinner paints and you pour them in some design on the canvas and then you blow it out either like with a straw in your mouth or just your mouth or you can use a blow dryer. I'm going to try to use a blow dryer. I don't know if my blow dryer is too powerful so it might blow stuff everywhere but um we'll see. So I'm going to actually throw on some gloves so that I don't get too messy and we're going to get going. Um as you guys have seen on my channel, a lot of stuff tends to have blues and greens in it because I am very much a beachy lover. If you guys haven't heard me say it before, um, I am a dive master. The ocean is my vibe. Diving is my jam. Um, I love sea turtles. Um, just, yeah, I'm all about that. So um, I tend to use colors like this a lot. And I'd had an idea for a painting a while back that I wanted to do when I was first attempting pearl pours that I was using these colors to kind of emulate the beach, the water, the sand. Um, so it's kind of the vibe I'm going for again today. And um, we're gonna get going. I'm gonna sit on this little step stool. Whoa! This little step stool so I'm up a little more. And Let's figure out how I want to put these paints down. I think I'm going to do the dark blue. I can either do dark blue in the middle, light blue on the outsides, and then gold on the outside. Or I can kind of spread it around everywhere and do some chunks. Maybe I'll do that. Two, three. Hmm. thinking guys I'm thinking I was gonna use a longer skinnier canvas and I decided to go with this one so I had a plan for the longer skinny canvas I didn't really have a plan for this one um, I think because of the colors we have you know what let's just hey it's me sorry that's my dogs um, I think I'm going to kind of do some, no, you know what, we're just going to, we're going to keep it simple guys and we're going to go with stripes. We are going to go with stripes. So let's get this one down. My dogs are ringing the bell. That's how they tell me that they want to go outside. Um, but they saw a critter or something in the backyard and they want to go chase it. They were just out back right before, like I literally, before I started recording, I said, let me let you guys out so that you don't do this when I'm in the middle of recording. So the fact that they're doing this right now 
and the fact that they just barked tells me they saw something in the backyard. Um, these colors, guys, I will have the labels put below the stream for you guys um, of what all these colors are, and it'll be in the description of the video because I did mix a couple colors with almost all of these, um, so I don't know exactly what color. It's not just, I don't think any of them are just one color. I think all of them have two different colors. It was a matter of not getting the shade that I wanted and having to add a little bit of something else. Um, so I will get you guys those. So what we're doing right now is stretching this base coat across the canvas. And something that I've not done before that I'm gonna try to do this time as I get too close to the edge over here, I'm gonna try to keep as much of this base coat. My dog just lunged at the door, you guys. There's a bird on my back porch. Anyways, I'm gonna try to keep as much of this base coat actually on the canvas. Um, so, I'm gonna keep it on. Oh, we're losing some. So the lines didn't really stay in lines, which is okay. Um, like I said, I don't really know what this will end up looking like. But really all I'm hoping for are cells, our beautiful pearl cells all over the painting. That's what I'm really hoping for. Okay, I know I didn't get over that edge over there, but I'm scared of dumping too much of this off. So I'm going to go ahead and put the white on and then I'll stretch the white across the canvas and I'll stretch that out really good. So let's get the white on. I don't remember if Tara just pours this in the middle and stretches it from there. I think she does. So I'm gonna see if that's enough. I think it is. We shall see. I hope my little paint containers don't get covered. Um, you guys, I stole my kids' little kitchen, not kitchen table, but their living room table that we let them sit at and eat when we let them have snacks in the living room. Um, I took their little table this table we actually got in Okinawa, Japan, and we've had it for years. This table has, was with me with my first son, and I've had it for a really long time. I feel like maybe, see, I don't like that this white isn't stretching over this paint, but okay, we're just, we're gonna go with it, guys. back to the middle some and we're gonna go down this way sorry I know you guys can't see my tilting it because I'm not a professional and I don't turn it towards you guys like I should when I go every direction okay that corner down here didn't really get covered I'm gonna see if I can come off that corner down here Oh, I just noticed this other one didn't either. I might be stretching too much now, guys. We'll see. There we go. Okay. So, I'm going to leave it sit for about 10 minutes. I can already start to see all these pearls show up, which makes me happy. Um, I'm going to torch it and put you guys on time lapse. So you guys can watch what's happening and then I will come back in about 10 minutes and we'll see where our cells are. video to add to YouTube along with this. Um, the cells have been developing for just a little over 10 minutes. The only reason it's been over 10 minutes is because I got a phone call. Um, I really don't know what I want to do because 
it is so gorgeous that I don't really, I want to attempt a Dutch pour. I still really want to attempt it on this. I just don't know where to put it. I'm struggling with placement. Um, the only thing I know is I would like to cover up that white spot. And there's some muddy looking cells over here on the edge of the white spot. So I wouldn't mind covering those up too. But look at this down here. Look at these cells, these pearls that have all three colors in them. And then we've got like a blue section and we've got a gold section with blue. I mean, it's just, everything else is gorgeous. So I'm trying to decide right now. I was thinking about starting up here and coming through this and maybe this way a little bit and then back down this way. My only problem with that is I really don't want to lose all this teal. This, these teal cells are really pretty. I don't really like this either, but I don't want to go from corner to corner because I don't want to lose this. So I'm sitting here fiddling and thinking about what I'm going to do. And whenever I figure it out, I will start recording again and we will start the Dutch pour. So we'll be back shortly, guys. Guys, I started to put the paint down for the Dutch pour and forgot that I hadn't started the recording again. As you can see, I jumped when I realized it and kind of went everywhere. So, um, bear with me. This is my first time doing one of these as well. So, um, I don't, oh, fudge sickles. I don't want to put too much paint on like I just did. Um, but I don't want to not put enough on either. So, I don't have enough squirt bottles like Tara uses. She uses squirt bottles to put this down, which I really wish I had right now. And now that I have at least figured out the pearl method, I might actually invest in some bottles to do some of these um, pours. But um, let's see how this Dutch pour goes. I'm trying to not lose some stuff. Okay. I feel like she layers her colors back on again. I feel like I should do that. I really just don't want to put too much paint on here. I feel like there's already way too much paint on here. Um, let's see if I can get a little drizzle. And then it stops. Like I get a good flow going and then it stops. Oh, guys, I'm stressed. I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Okay. Let's go one more time with the green and I might call it. See right there, I keep losing my pour. Um, should I put one more round of the uh, the light color on? See, I'm, okay, stuff's starting to move. I need to, I think I have enough paint down, like more than enough paint. Okay, okay guys, we're moving. I've never done it with this blow dryer either. So I have a feeling it's gonna go blow paint in places it's not supposed to blow paint. This blow dryer is kinda, doesn't really, this blow dryer doesn't have a chill mode. It's just kind of a butthole. Why is it not coming on? Oh, wrong button. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. So I'm gonna get a straw and blow some out manually. Hmm. What do I want to do? I kind of ruined it, guys. It's okay. Um, but like how it's all globbed up, I don't like that.
remove the torch. You guys don't understand. If I could kiss Tara right now, I would. Kiss me. My husband just yelled from the other room, kiss me. Okay. Covering the edge of that painting. And the edge is covered over there. Okay. Oh, there goes one of my other paintings that I just did last night. Oh, that didn't tear it up because I really like that one. Okay. Too much stuff, guys. Too much stuff. Everything's a balancing act around here. Okay. So, I'm going to let this sit for just a second because I can see some pearls are coming through this. This has some really cool cells in it. I will say a couple things. I need to think of composition a little better next time. Like I said, that really dark blue, the Payne's gray blue that's in here, that was supposed to be one of my base colors. So my base was supposed to be a lot darker than it is. And then that royal looking blue was supposed to be in my Dutch pour. I think that would have made things look a little bit better um, had I not messed up what ingredients I put in with which color before. Um, because I don't necessarily love the background colors with the Dutch pour colors. Um, something else I've realized is that I need a new blow dryer. Um, my blow dryer is, doesn't have a low enough speed. Low on it seems like it blows too hard. And I think I put too much paint down too. I mean, come on guys, let's be real. There was, there's a few things. But this was my first time for both of these things. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut myself a little bit of credit uh, or a little bit of slack, give myself a little credit um, that I finally did a pearl and this Dutch pour isn't horrible. And I love Tara so much that if she was in front of me, I would grab her by both of her cheeks and lay one on her right now. So yeah, guys. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I will do some wet pictures to put in the video. And then as of right now, all of my dry results, I am posting on my Facebook page because I'm too antsy and I wanna get my Facebook or my YouTube videos loaded like immediately. So I don't wait for dry results to make my YouTube videos right now. Uh, I might change that in the future, but right now I feel like it kind of gives me something to do on each platform. So YouTube, I record for you guys and you guys see the wet results. And then if people want to see the dry results, they can go to the Facebook page and see how it turned out. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited guys. I'm going to let this sit. Um, I'll grab the camera and show you guys some up close pictures real quick before, um, before we call it. Okay guys, so here she is. Um, I was trying to save some of these cells up here that are like, I almost wanna call them like peacock type shells is what it reminds me of. The dark blue, the gold and the, the turquoise, the teal. Um, I think those are really pretty. Um, and I wanted to save the gold I did want to save some of the teal, but we, we have some of it up here, so it's not all gone. Um, and then there's some teal up in that corner. But this is the Dutch pour as it was blown out. It is still developing pearls inside of it. Um, so it is pretty gnarly looking, honestly. Uh, that's the whole inside of that Dutch pour. It's pretty cool. So again, the color composition isn't exactly matchy-matchy. 
Um, but it's okay. It's okay. You live, you learn, and I would call today a success, guys. So look for me to do more pours like this and more designs like this because I really enjoyed this today. I appreciate all of your all's love and support and you guys being here with me on this journey. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye.